Hi, this is Jay DeJesus from BuildTheRoo.com. We're here live at the 2009 PCBC conference. I'm here with Morgan Meir. Hi, Morgan. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you very much. So, Morgan, can you tell us a little bit, of, a little bit about your company? Sure. I'm, I'm a, a regional manufacturer's representative for a company called Heat Transfer Products. Uh, they're located right outside of uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts. And they make uh, ultra-high efficiency boilers and water heaters and other such devices and solar systems. Okay. Um, these devices uh, are, the whole idea is how to integrate combined hydronics, which means doing your space heating and water heating and now your solar thermal all in one appliance. Okay. Specifically today, at today's show, we have something called the Phoenix water heater. Uh, the Phoenix water heater is um, a 96% efficient uh, condensing seal combustion water heater. The difference here is that we supply hot water to the shower, etc. But we also, off the other side here, have taps for going out to hydronic heating, such as radium floor heating, air handlers, fan convectors, so that one device is providing both ultra high efficiency water heating and space heating in one footprint. Okay. Now what's even a little different about this particular model of Phoenix is that we have raised the combustion chamber and in the bottom we put a solar coil. So in fact we're able to have one appliance that provides 96 percent water heating space heating and efficiency and renewable energy is injected into the bottom of this tank. And this tank is very specifically constructed to stratify so that we keep the water from solar and from the gas fired separate. Uh, there hasn't been anything of the sort before and it's part of the new resurgence of solar hot water um, in the country and it's merely integrating technology already available through this particular manufacturer. Um, and people are most often, when they think of hydronic heating, they're thinking of a boiler and maybe a, a separate, what's called an indirect water heater, that you can use a boiler for doing space heating and also heating your domestic hot water. And then if you wanted to do solar hot water, you buy a separate tank and put solar collectors, like you'll see over here on the roof, and you'd have a separate tank for that. What this, is, this system is doing is replacing the boiler, it's replacing the indirect water heater, and it's replacing the tank for the solar system, so you can have one footprint for doing all of those things in one appliance. Great, great. So what makes this product green? Well, what makes it green is when you're thinking about um, building science, the first thing you want to do is do energy conservation. Um, that could be insulation, or it can just be conserving uh, your hot water use through ultra high efficiency devices like this. And then you move on to um, putting renewables into the mix. Okay. And so from a building science standpoint and why that the founder of the USGBC has it in his house, we have it in many green homes in California here, um, is that it has that building block approach that the building community finds so attractive. Yeah. Okay, so how much can we expect to spend on something like this? Well, what you would spend would be less than buying a boiler, an indirect water heater, and a separate solar system, because they're all in one appliance. Uh, you don't have as much equipment and you don't have the associated costs with the labor to put it all together. So uh, this is an all-in-one package and you, when you're comparing other options then you would you would compare to the cost of the again the boiler, the indirect water heater and a separate solar system. Great, great. So is there anything else you want to talk about in your comp about your company? Well I just want to make it clear that uh, we um, this device will do the space heating side and we have not shown here uh, a package for putting on this unit for, for doing radium floor heating with a heat exchanger. And down below here you can see that this is uh, some radium floor heating put in a thin thermal mass called thermal board. Um, the point being that this can you know, directly tie in to radium floor heating which is very popular as well as uh, convectors and forced air. Um, air handlers that can incorporate air conditioning as well. So it's all part of a hot water system 
that does many things off of one unit. Okay, great. So uh, this is Morgan Muir from Phoenix Systems, and uh, I'm Jay Desus from Builderoo.com. Please check out our other videos at Builderoo.com. Thank you. Have a great day.